Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are here with a brand new series in Empire Total War. Darth Mod playing the Ottomans. Pretty much all the settings are default apart from a few graphical and sound settings. And we are going to be playing the Ottomans slightly differently to how you may have seen them being played before, which should be really good fun for us. If you do enjoy this series, guys, please do like and subscribe. It would be massively appreciated. But without further ado, let's get on to the campaign map. Let's listen to the uh, advisor. Empire to the north and west. Hostile Russia is attempting to obtain a Black Sea port through your protectorate, the Crimean Khanate. And despite the recent peace, your traditional enemies, the Austrian Empire, will press home any advantage in the Balkan territories of Bosnia and Serbia. As the empire of Safavid Persia collapses, there may be incursions into your territory from the eastern desert. So secure the borders of Mesopotamia and Armenia to keep their movement in check. You must also consider the steady advance of technology in the west. Very soon, you could find yourself disadvantaged on the battlefield with only weight of numbers swinging in your favor. Keep abreast of technology by assigning scholars to research all the latest developments. Maintaining friendly relations with a major European power, possibly France, will prove useful should Russia and Austria rise against you. Continuing your support and control of the Crimean Khanate and surrounding regions should prevent Russia from breaking out of their present landlocked status whilst the Barbary states should continue to act as a buffer to the aggressive navies of Catholic Venice and Spain. Fantastic. Well, we have plenty of information there to have a look at and to go through, but I'm going to go through our plan first, guys. Something that we are going to be doing over what we might do otherwise or something different to what you may have seen before. Now... We are going to be restoring the Achaemenid Empire up to a certain extent. And then we are going to take the mantle of the Mughal Empire in India and have a land empire that stretches all the way from Eastern Europe into India and all the way down through India. We're going to ignore the Americas for now. I know that may sound a little bit silly, but we will get there in the future. We won't need to get to the Americas too much because we're going to get all our spices, everything from here. Although tobacco and tea and all that sort of thing, we do get tea down here. But tobacco and stuff like that, it's going to be slightly harder to get in India. So we are going to have to, of course, go to America at some point. But first of all, we will be securing against the Russians up here in the northeast and defending against Austria if they decide to attack us. The first thing we need to do, though, is get our armies together. We do not have a huge amount of armies. And we can see the Israelis are not the greatest of the uh, line infantry that is available to us. We could go full crazy Janissaries. We do also have the organ guns, which are pretty insane, guys. They are very good. Let's have a look at the demi cannons. You can see the demi cannons do have a lot better uh, range and firepower. But the organ guns are just fun, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that shall be quite fun for us. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get started, guys. First things first, let's get our armies together over here. I'm not going to leave them in the forts here. There's literally no point of that. I'm going to gather an army at Belgrade in Serbia to start with. You guys get moving. You guys also get moving. We're going to bring this army from here. Unfortunately, a lot of it is just a mob. So that's going to be a little bit annoying uh, for us in the long run. We're going to leave one of the mob there because it's really not that useful. We're also going to get this army, which again, you can see, is pretty darn awful. And we're going to stick them into Moldavia for now. Like I say, this is more a defensive job on this front rather than anything else. So we're going to go with that. Are there any troops that we can train in some of these regions that are any good? No, there are not. There are no good troops to train here, which is rather unfortunate for us. Is there anything we can train in Athens that would be any good? No, just bashy bazooks, which again are not fantastic. So let's have a look at Ankara. We are fine in Ankara over here for now. We can get some nine pounder cavalry uh, artillery, actually. So we're going to smash out 
four units of that. That is going to come and reinforce this army at Mesopotamia. And we're going to go straight for Ardable when we get the chance. So we're going to bring probably the uh, this mob over this way. We're going to form up our army in here. And we're going to start recruiting at Baghdad. We do have these desert warriors that are militia. And they're actually not that much worse than the Israelis, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not really very good. So we're really going to have to focus on expanding our military infrastructure around all of these regions. So that's what we're going to do, first of all. I'm gonna. We can't get the Ordnance Factory. We're going to go with the barracks and all that sort of thing to start with. Uh, anything else? We could go for the high port. I don't think it's necessary right now. Let's also go for expanding in these regions, Belgrade and Bosnia, to try and get some better recruitment options for us going forward. That is a lot of our money uh, already spent, but we are recruiting in the regions that we want to, so that is good. We really do not start with a good army, guys, as you can see <laughs> quite clearly. Um, so... We have done that. Now let's do our technology. So we're going to come into Kori, uh, Konya over here. And we do actually start with improved grenades, which is a fantastic technology to start with. Canister shop would be absolutely fantastic. But I think we need to go for the plug bayonet so we can get some better infantry as quick as possible. It's only going to take three turns to get plug bayonet. So that is fantastic. Now, I am going to build another... Uh, school somewhere but first of all we need to find where that would be do we have any spare um, areas that have nothing built in them we've got a small madrasa here which is fine we could potentially do it here we've got a port there that's free what about down here anything that's just like really not worth it i think we'll go for it in cairo because if we have a look at cairo we are predominantly Islamic, so we are fine there. We're not going to have a problem uh, with unrest. And you can see everyone is incredibly, incredibly happy. We're going to keep our taxes as they are now to allow towns to grow. So let's destroy that, and then we are going to build a, another, um, another research building there, which will be fantastic. Now then, secondly to this, we do have a lot of madrasas around, but they're not strictly that necessary here. Like, this madrasa, not necessary, but we'll leave it in for now, just in case we do get some action from some people trying to convert us. And we should have, actually, a couple of these guys, a couple of imams over here, because in Bosnia, we can see we are um, Orthodox and Catholic, so we are going to keep them in there 100%. Now, the next thing to do is to upgrade a lot of our resource buildings, because we are not pr uh, producing too many resources right now and most of the resource buildings that can be built are around this region so let's go with that we'll go for some farms as well get some peasant farms in there they are quite good little buildings to get started get our economy rolling really that's all they're there for is to get our economy rolling anything else we want to build in some of these big cities not really i think we are going to build another port here though this is just a fishing port, so we'll expand that. That won't be a problem because that's going to bring us some extra cash. And then let's keep on going with our resources so that we can trade a lot of resources with a lot of people around the world, which is fantastic. I'm not bothering about the madrasas right now. Really not too much of a problem. I mean, in Mesopotamia, we are again 100% Islam. It's a bit of a shame that this game does not uh, separate religions. You know, it separates... Christianity into Catholic, Protestant, and uh, Orthodoxy, but it doesn't separate Islam, which is kind of strange, really, to me, to be honest. But um, yeah, because it would be nice to have some unrest. Well, it wouldn't be nice to have unrest, but it would be more immersive to have some unrest in Mesopotamia, for example, from Shia um, and stuff like that. So that would be quite an interesting addition to the game, but it's unfortunate that it does not exist. So I think that's most of our resource building done. So now we can go with a few manufacturing buildings. And I think at this point, we're going to keep on with 10,000 in the bank, just in case to uh, react to anything that's going to happen. These uh, ships are awful. Galleys, they are not good. <laughs> do we have any other navies, though? That's the question. I don't believe we do. And I I'm honestly not... Yeah, we've got this little navy. Look at this. They've got one cannon. 
There's a trade ship, though. Uh, we could go and, and start trading, but uh, I really don't... I don't think it's particularly necessary, honestly, um, to go into the trade regions. I really don't think that's going to be perfect for us. So, uh, yeah, we'll get killed by pirates, definitely, if we do that with these ships. <laughs> So maybe we want to build up a little bit of a navy for some more ships, but that should be fine. I also do want to protect all of my ports because, of course, the AI loves to invade your ports. So what I might do is just get, like, the cheapest unit available here. 314 for the Bashi Bazooks. And, yeah, fill in some of these ports with some of these terrible, terrible units so that we can trade a little bit more. Right, let's have a look at our diplomacy, guys. As you can see, Austria is hostile to us. Poland, Lithuania is hostile. And we are at war with Russia. Now, I would love to get an alliance with some of these people. But that, because of the Barbary states being our ally and our protectorate, we cannot. <laughs> so, we have to kind of hope that the Barbary states get uh, peace with a few people. You can see they are at war with, like, literally everyone at the start of the game. So, that makes it very hard to uh, get an alliance, but I think we are going to go for an alliance and a trade agreement with the Maratha Confederacy because eventually, okay, well, they won't they won't accept it. We'll try a trade agreement then. No, they don't like it. <laughs> That's fine. Um, how about uh, France then? Let's try and get good relations with France. No, nobody, nobody wants to trade with us. That's very annoying, honestly. Come on. There we go. Britain, at least. At least Britain wants to trade with us. Let's try for Prussia, who should be an enemy of Austria. They want a military alliance. They're at war with the Barbaries. They demand 4,800 gold. Well, that would break... Would that not break our protectorate of the Barbary states? I don't want to pay you that. Try that. Improve grenades. Yeah, that's that's fine. I don't, I don't mind that at all. No, we are still protectorates of the Barbary states. But that is our first ally, the glorious nation of Prussia, which is fantastic. 13 colonies. I would like to trade with them because they'll have some good resources over there. Um, and then we'll try Austria for, for a second because I don't mind. Yeah, 270. That's, that's fine. We'll try France one more time. We've got a lot of trade agreements going now anyway, though, so that's fine. And I don't think we really need to worry about anything else on the minor factions in there because they won't have many good resources really will they so uh yeah let's go although we do this army here yeah so this army is pretty trash so we do want to get a few more men in there we do have some demi cannons but we might as well just fill them with some desert warriors i mean they're not good units but i mean we could get some cavalry cavalry is always going to be useful it's gonna be three turns by the time we get the next level of building of barracks. So we're going to have to wait three turns for that. But um, I think we'll end the turn there, guys, and see whether we get attacked by anyone and see what happens. And the Marathas just offer us exactly what we offered them and they insulted us for it. But <laughs> I'm happy enough to accept that. <laughs> and we got a new agent in Cairo. We should probably go and check that we are doing the right thing with all of our agents here. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. They're not really going to be able to do too much. We can go and have a look up here, though. It just takes them so long to move anywhere, bro. <laughs> like, so long. Why does it take so long? We've got a new town, Kayseri, in Anatolia. Well, that's fantastic, actually, because we're going to get a school there. Because we were going to get a school down here. But we will get three. Uh, just because we need to catch up with technology. And have the best tech. That would be amazing. Um, we've got a few troops that have been recruited. Prussia and Poland have declared war on each other. The United Provinces have also declared war on Spain to take back Flanders, it would seem. You guys get in there. We've now got these units here, which we are going to send to this army. It looks like Austria is deciding that it's time to come and have a go if they think they're hard enough. We're going to get three Janissaries too, because honestly, guys, <laughs> melee is so OP in this game. So hopefully the audio is now sorted, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if the audio is the right level. It's very hard to judge with this game because it's so, so quiet compared to uh, other games. Like, the music isn't loud at all, but the effects are very loud. So if I press on this, 
It seems like it's extremely, extremely loud, but the music is so quiet. So we also have this agent over here. So we're going to bring him into Azerbaijan to have a look at what's going on. They do actually have an army here, so that's slightly scary. We don't want to worry about that. We've also got that Iman there. We've also got the one in Moldavia, which is fine. That's going to convert pretty well. And we've got you in Konya too. Fantastic. Well, I think we just need to keep on recruiting and uh, get this army together so we can go against Ardabul. And as expected, guys, Austria has declared war on us. We are going to call our allies to help. But uh, yeah, no one joined Austria, actually. Prussia refused to join our side, which is a little bit strange because um, they are already at war with Austria. But I think that might be the reason. Um, I don't think Austria is going to be too bad. But obviously, our armies are awful, guys. So fighting Austria is not going to be too fun. <laughs> Well, there's another agent, guys. So uh, let's use them against Austria, of course. Let's um, let's go and have a look at Vienna. Maybe we can sabotage Vienna. That would be fantastic. Uh, Ottoman Empire and Prussia alliance broken. Trade agreement cancelled with Austria, obviously. That will give us space for another trade agreement, potentially, though. Um, and we've got some new traits. We should have a lot of constructions done there. So vineyards, yeah, mainly resource ones. So that should make us a little bit richer. And we have got some new cannons, which I am going to send up to this army in the east. It's going to take them a little while to get there, unfortunately. And we've got our new Janissaries, too. So we are just slowly gathering our army up here to fight against Austria. Now, whether that army gets attacked, that's going to be annoying if they do. So we are going to pop these guys in here. We're also going to grab us a general if we can. But it doesn't look like we can. So let's um, let's grab as a general from somewhere. Uh, no, actually, let's just gar grab him from here. Let's go. We got Yazid Talat. Got no traits. Well, that's uh, that's fine. It's better than bad traits, I've got to say. <laughs> so uh, let's also check in over here. So we'll wait one more turn. I think then this army will be strong enough to go and fight the Persians. That should not be an issue. Um, and what else do we want to do then? Do we want to build in Ankara? We are still building in Ankara. What do we want to build here though? Let's have a look at what this army is sort of lacking. Cannons. Definitely cannons. They have no cannons whatsoever. So I think we're going to go for two organ guns and then potentially some demi cannons as well. Uh, that should be enough, honestly. That should be fine. The organ guns are going to be good early game, but later on they're not going to be fantastic. And then I think we're going to spend a little bit of cash on upgrading some of these roads, but we'll do that next turn, guys. And the Persians now declared war on us, which is fine. That is not a problem at all, and because we were going to declare war on them anyway, so uh, glorious. Thank you, Persia. And Georgia declared water at us as well. <laughs> that's, that's so dumb. Come on, Georgia. That's really annoying because Georgia's actually got a decently sized army. Like I say, at the start of the game, we're getting raided actually by pirates. Oh, come on, bro. bro really? Really? Pirates? <laughs> come on. Come on, bro. Um, we are going to go straight for canister shot though because that's going to be so useful in battles against the enemy. Um... So yeah, Georgia has declared war on us. They have this army, which is not very good, honestly, is it? It's not a great army. I think we can join our troops together here, and that'll be fine. We've also got these cannons on the way. So I think with this army, let's get us going. I think we'll probably take out Georgia first. Problem is, by taking out Georgia, we're then bordering Russia up this way. So we might have to defend Georgia relatively strongly. Or we could just go for Ardabil over here in Azerbaijan. I think that's the option, honestly. It's going to take so long. Look at that movement speed. That's awful, bro. That's really, really bad. That's supposed to be six months worth of movement, bro. <laughs> six months. Come on. I forgot how low the movement speed was in this. Jeez, man. Jeez. Like, the movement speed for me for six months should be like... From Istanbul to, like, Prague, basically. <laughs> I know they do it to try to, you know, of course, slow the game slightly down. But that's fine. Let's get our Janissaries in here. And if they're going to defend up in the east quite strongly, then I think we can then probably go after Zagreb instead. That'll be fine. I know we're moving relatively slowly, guys, and not going mental. But um, 
like I've said before, the, the Ottomans do not have a very strong start at all, really, when you consider it. I think movement speed as well, we need to we need to get our infrastructure up so we can actually move around these regions a lot better. So let's do that. These This guy doesn't even have roads, so that's probably a large part of the issue. If we can build like a good road all the way up through this region, that should make everything a lot, lot faster. Uh, we don't really need it there. So let's have a look then potentially over here. Let's get those roads. We've got them. Good. Well, that's that's a lot better. In terms of construction though, let's see. We built a lot that turn, so that should really help. We've now got a barracks in Baghdad. That's awesome. So that should allow us to actually recruit some better troops now. We've got Kurdish hillmen, which are skirmishers. Let's have a look at them. 45 accuracy is actually pretty good, but they reload so slowly. So we are going to start pumping in some Israelis there, I think. Um, and there's nothing else we can really build. Will that allow us to... Yeah, we'll let, get an extra unit uh, recruitment capacity from upgrading to the Bay's mansion. But that's fine. We also... Did we not get a better... Yeah, we got it in there too. Where else did we build those barracks? So in Ankara, yeah. Um, and we've not quite built any more schools yet, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be uh, going to be interesting. I think we need Belgrade to be our recruitment hub around this region. As you can see, we can get Hadjot, Azars. We can't quite get a Israelis in there yet. But uh, if we can upgrade that, that'll be fantastic. And that is all our money pretty much gone at this point. So we got a few ancillaries. Fantastic. No problem. And then next turn... Next turn, I promise you, we should, well, I don't promise, but we should have a battle next turn, guys. <laughs> I guess we'll see, won't we? Fantastic. Let's go. Well, we have a battle slightly earlier than expected. We have a battle um, against the Georgians. It's pretty much all cavalry, honestly, their army. I don't think we win this, but at least um, we'll be able to kill quite a lot of the men, I think. So that should be quite good. Let's just uh, save it just in case we get a crash and let's go. This is what I mean about the music, guys. So I've had to just turn the music down to 70% because on the campaign map, <laughs> the music is like um, insanely quiet. But on the battle map, the music is insanely loud. <laughs> I don't know why it's optimized so weirdly, uh, but that's fine. We've got these guys who are like irregulars. Get them on skirmish mode. They can go in front of our men, honestly. And then we're going to have these guys. And, and unfortunately, the um, the camera, this is as far away as I can zoom out. I don't know whether there's something I can do to unrestrict the camera. That would be amazing if there was. I'm also going to keep these guys in here hiding, ready to face the enemy. But let's see what they do. And also, why did we not get the town? Like, the town is over here. It was not in our deployment zone. It was in their deployment zone. <laughs> why did we not get the town, bro? Come on, why? Well, these artillery pieces are insanely, insanely inaccurate, I've got to say. <laughs> Which is a little bit of a shame. But there we go. First shots of the battle into the regiment of horse. They are trying to flank us, which is, you know, fine by me. Um, so let's, like, uh, get there as quick as possible. These guys now can fire, but only this right-hand flank. So let's try and protect our flank slightly. Should be able to reform pretty quickly. It's going to stop their um, movement slightly, but that's okay. Right, let's now start targeting these guys, this militia, when they come into the battle. There we go, boys. And let's see how we do here. Looks like they're running away. Not enjoying that at all, are they? These guys are now exposed. So I don't know whether... Um, Charging the cavalry is going to be any good, but the firelocked arm populace are not the most accurate troops, I've got to say. Here comes another cavalry, and looks like they're running away. Glorious. So that is good for us. Let's try and push this cavalry slightly so that we can force them away. Looks like they've realized that they've sent their cavalry on a crazy mission. <laughs> Our artillery is insanely inaccurate. They're not going to do any damage. This cavalry is just standing here. You've got to love the Empire AI sometimes, don't you, bro? <laughs> Bloody hell. Crazy. Come on, boys. Fire. These Israelis, like I say, are not a good unit. You can see how irregular they are compared to even like... Well, the militia are irregular. But this is how the lines should be for a line unit, even though that's a pikeman. But yeah, they are insanely, insanely um, 
irregular in their movement, which is uh, irregular in their formation, which, of course, is not good for us. Um, who are we targeting now? Let's target the pikemen, because they're probably the one that can do the most damage against us. Um, and, yeah, we might be using a lot of our ammunition here, but you can see we've got plenty of ammunition left. We do have the plug bayonet, so if it comes to it, we might have to get those plug bayonets on. Not sure it's worth it at the moment. Keep that skirmish mode off, actually. You guys just do that. They are trying to attack those boys. That's fine. We're going to just get right there and just fire into them. These guys are going to rout, probably, looking at it. But that's fine. There goes that cavalry. They've finally started moving, so let's charge them. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get in line again. Might have to go plug bayonet here. It's going to be a little bit annoying because I don't think we're going to be able to uh, take all these guys on just with melee. So I would prefer not to use plug bayonet if possible. I prefer to just fire on the enemy uh, while we have people... Oh, they've already routed straight away. <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate then that they route straight away, but that's, uh, that's okay. Uh, as we said, we don't think we were going to win this battle, did we? At all. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing really we can do extra now. There we go. They're actually, that was actually relatively uh, decent, a, uh, a fire there. That's good. And then these guys are going to have to uh, fight the regiment of horse. Looks like they're just going for the crazy charge like the AI loves to do in this game. <laughs> I think it's one of the major things with the game is just the AI is just insane. Like, the AI genuinely is insane. <laughs> like they have no idea what to do. Here we go with the plug bayonet, though, boys. Let's charge. Let's charge, and let's see what happens. Fantastic. Glorious little charge there. We've got the plug bayonet on, which is glorious. Look at that. Absolutely shredding these guys, which is kind of insane, actually. I was not expecting that. But, yeah, the plug bayonet is so much more powerful than just a standard bayonet. So you can see we're absolutely shredding them. But, uh, of course, we're not, we're not going to win, are we? Um, especially when they've got pikemen there. But our guys are going to be concerned. They're under artillery attack from their own artillery. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Fire at them if you can. Uh, but, yeah, we've routed one of the boys. So let's try and route, um, let's try and route another one. That'll be good. Kill these boys. Kill them. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's see. Let's speed this up. I don't think we're going to last for too long. But we could do some g decent damage. And there goes the artillery. And there they go. Unfortunate defeat. But a glorious, glorious little battle. We did kill a lot of the guys anyway, which is good. So as you can see, we killed 437, which is not bad at all. The Israelis, they did the majority. They did 300 kills. Wow. <laughs> so that plug bayonet was insanely good. So unfortunately losing Armenia. But yeah, that's a little bit annoying. So we are going to have to start taking out some of these Austrians now and start taking some more land. Where are we with this army? Um, do we go after Persia here or do we go for Georgia? I think we go for Georgia because if we can take out that one army, that should be them done. Whereas with um, Armenia, slightly different. We're going to get some Israelis now as well because they are, of course, a lot better. And we're going to try and join up with the cannons, which will be glorious. We did get the schools now. That's going to be fantastic for us because we need to get speeding up with our um, with our research. So let's start getting some good technologies in there. That'll be amazing. They're not going to research too quickly, guys. But the main thing is the fact that um, we're going to keep on coming with more cannons. The main thing is the fact that they'll start off the uh, the. Um, the research, and then we can switch it across to Konya that has a gentleman in it, um, which will be even faster. So basically, it'll just uh, just help us speed up all our research by quite a way, honestly, which will be glorious. We did get some things in Istanbul, some demi cannons, and this army has currently no cannons, and our general got killed. Ah, well, that's a bit annoying. Now we've got Mohammed Farid, so let's go with him. Do we want to attack this unit and then it will bring in the second unit? I think we do. They do have cannons. We have no cavalry except our general. <laughs> um, but yeah, that should be okay. So let's get on the battlefield, guys. 
And this is really not that scary, so that should be good. So even though they were on our side of the river, apparently we still have to go across the river, which <laughs> is kind of insane. <laughs> so thank you for that, um, AI. But what we're going to do is we're going to send all our line infantry this way through the pass over here. And we're going to keep our general over this side. And we're just going to charge across with our crazy Janissaries, who should be pretty good. So let's end the deployment. Let's see where they are. Right then, let's go. Don't think we need to worry too much. Um, so let's go, boys. Get running. Um, and then where are their... Oh, their units are actually coming in from that way. That's actually fantastic for us. So some part of this uh, army didn't come in from the... <laughs> is on the right side of the river, but the wrong side... The wrong army. <laughs> that's kind of strange, <laughs> but uh, that's fine. Right, let's uh, see if we can uh, get up this way. Uh, in fact, everyone just like chill here for a second. In fact, halt. Everyone halt and fire. Should be able to shred that general. Go on, boys. Fire, 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 fire. No, wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> wrong way. <laughs> Kill them anyway, then. And uh, they shouldn't last too long. They will probably shred a couple of our units. Let's have a look at how we're doing over here. The glorious Janissaries. The one thing I love about this game is just the look of the troops. Like, I know Napoleon is so polished with this, but, like, the troops do look absolutely fantastic, don't they? Should be able to go and, and kill these guys. Apparently, you can't. I don't, I don't really quite understand that. But let's, uh, let's have a look. How are we doing against the general? He's fully stuck now, which... Yeah, that's quite good for us. <laughs> there we go. I'm not going to turn on the bayonets at all because we want to fire at the other enemy. So we did lose quite a few troops there. Oh, they've got their cannons set up, actually. That's not good for us. Right then, boys. Let's, uh, let's all come up this way. Get running. And let's see if we can get in position to start firing. Can we actually see the enemy from this position? I don't know. <laughs> Probably just about. It'd be better for us to come up slightly higher. Get really close to the enemy. But, uh, yeah, we'll take a bit of cannon fire. But I don't think they've got canister shot yet. So that's fine. Right, guys, you chase after them. Honestly, the rest of you, you've really got nothing to do. Uh, I'll try and get those uh, irregulars chasing after them too. We are getting shot at. Yeah, like, like expected. But we are with our general. So it should be good. That was quite a good shot from the artillery there. But we want to get really close to the enemy and just start firing into them. These irregulars are not going to be able to stand up. I know that, um, obviously, the mass volleys are not quite the what, what we have right now with these troops. <laughs> but um, nonetheless, hopefully these guys can get ready. But it doesn't look like it, so we're going to have to stick the bayonet on. We'll keep these guys firing. Turn you off, fire, turn you off melee mode for now. These guys are locked in melee now, of course. And do we have anyone in the back apart from the artillery? No. So we are just going to go round with our cavalry and get rid of that artillery. Look how, look how uh, inaccurate these boys are. They are incredibly, incredibly inaccurate. I suppose some of them are firing at the cannons for some reason. All of you fire at them, for God's sake. <laughs> fire at the irregulars. There they go. They are running away. Fantastic. Let's go. Looks like the pikemen are uh, struggling. So let's go straight into that uh, field artillery. No, don't get stuck there, guys. Don't get stuck there. That's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, nice little skirmish to start off our war against Austria. Um, so yeah, let's kill the cannons. And let's kill them. Go, 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 guys. Let's uh, continue. I want to try and wipe out as many men as possible. Well, there we go, guys. We did lose 300 troops. But we have 4,400 on the field. That's... <laughs> Quite a significant amount, I've got to say. I didn't realize our army was that big, but it is very nice indeed. So their armies ran away the wrong way, <laughs> which is a little bit annoying. Because they could just go and siege down something now if they wanted. Don't think we've quite got the power yet to take on that region. So we might go for Zagreb first. Although I do want some cannons. So we could... I think we'll sit in this fort for now. We'll get our cannons. We'll regroup. We'll get our cannons from in here. How long does that infrastructure take? Uh, quite a while, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's fine. And then we're going to go up against Klausenberg up there in Transylvania. I don't think there's anything else we want to do. We could retrain these boys, and I think I will do, because it's going to be a few turns before we get our cannons anyway. How much does it cost? 570, 64. That's 
pretty cheap, my friends, isn't it? But let's end the turn. Let's see what Georgia and Persia do. And uh, let's see if we can uh, take them on. Now, Venice has declared war on us, which is, uh, is fine. No one's helping them out. But uh, that's actually quite good for us because we can go and take um, Greece. Um, but we have to defend against this. This is not that scary. They've got conscripts, two pikemen, and a militia. We do have some melee troops, and we have garrison troops. So, honestly, don't find this too scary. So, um, let's uh, let's do the battle, guys. Should be quite fun. So, let's so go. This time, we did actually get the uh, the town, and we also got defenses. So, kind of, that's their deployment zone, right? So, this is our deployment zone. Although, we're not quite far enough over. I think we'll defend inside the city here. We can't quite get in that building yet, but we will get in there. And we'll also get in this building with our, you know, firing soldiers. And then we'll probably defend out this way with these guys. In a nice little formation there. And then once they've uh, engaged, we'll come back to a defensive position here, potentially. Um, unfortunately, they can't build any defenses. It's just apparently just the Bashi Bazooks. So we don't have any cavalry, so we don't need to worry about cavalry themselves. So let's uh, stick that there so the cavalry can't get through this way. We'll also probably put in these buildings a few of the irregulars and just see, can they destroy our our fort of uh, our fort buildings, our fortress buildings? That'll be glorious. So let's end the deployment. You guys get in there. You guys get in there too. And you guys, you can get here. And if they do attack, we will get in the building behind there too. Firelock armed populace. You're not going to be that useful in these streets. So what we're going to do is just stick you here for now. You guys are getting in. Apparently, not all of our troops can actually get in there. That's a little bit unfortunate. How about this building? Yeah, we've got plenty of space in there. And then the Bashi Bazooks, we can get you behind the hill uh, as a defensive unit. In fact, we'll get you all the way back here. Um, and that's good. But now we just need to wait for the enemy. Well, here we go, guys. We are about to engage the enemy. Also, guys, if you um, like any of the battles and you think any of the units did particularly well, then uh, some names for the units would be awesome, like the bloody, that sort of thing, which I think is really cool. Uh, we can't quite see them yet. We'll also shoot our own men here, but that's going to be fine. These guys, they should be firing right now. No one firing. Bit strange. Come on, guys. Are you going to be able to fire or not? How about these guys? There we go. Straight into the pikemen. We've got our armed populace here, too. There we go. Should be able to fire at them now. Looks like our left flank is nothing's going to happen. So we'll probably pull these guys back over here. Let's go. And, uh, yeah, they're already uh, routing a little bit. So let's get uh, these guys in there. And I'm also going to pull back these boys if possible. And we're going to try... Get running, guys. Get running. I'm going to try and build, like, a little line here with the armed populace. You guys get there. And we're going to get... Where was the other one? We've got Bashi Bazooks here, haven't we? No, we've just got standard armed populace. They can get in this fight, too. So we should... It's a massive melee fight. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Just conscripts. These guys need to get all the way back here. Let's uh, join these two together, actually. And we're going to go there, probably, would be the best options for us. So let's get going and see if we can start firing into the enemy over here. Yeah, this is just going to be a massive melee fight, honestly. Uh, these guys are still chilling. So worst case scenario, they'll just be there chilling the whole time. That'll be fine, though. I'm not bothered about that. Hopefully these pikemen don't actually try and charge our men here. And uh, yeah, these guys should be okay. Uh, yeah, these guys are still firing. These guys are not going to take much damage for a while. These guys are shaken already, though. There we go. Shoot them. Shoot them, boys. Shoot them. That's glorious. Good firing. Good firing, my men. Good firing. Halt, guys. Halt and fire. Just halt and fire. There we go. And then we might be able to get behind them and fire into the back of them. I mean, our, like, melee in this game, guys, is so OP. Honestly, you could do a full melee challenge, and I may do that at some point. But, yeah, melee in this game is just insane. <laughs> like, melee just, like, destroys people, especially early game until you get good 
line technology. Um, right then, with our firing troops, let's get up there so we can start firing into these militia. Can we actually see the militia from here? I think quite a lot of them actually can. So that's good. There we go. Glorious, guys. Glorious. Let's uh, just come back slightly. What do we have over here? More militia. Well, let's let our men... Oh, come on, guys. Let's let me uh, set you up here. So let's just get here for now because they're, they're just firing at the building. So it doesn't matter. We don't need to waste our men there at all. These pikemen may come back from routing, but... How close are they to the battle map? Uh, quite far, actually. So now we're in position. We can start firing at the militia, and then we'll give them a little bit of a charge once they get a little bit closer. Hopefully, we have actually started firing at this unit, and we've actually killed a few men. Glorious. Well, that should be good for us. Very nice indeed. Now, you're firing at the wrong guys, guys. <laughs> Fire at these boys. Keep you on guard mode, too. Come on, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Fire, men. Come on. <laughs> Hurry up! Jesus Christ, man. There we go. Oh, that was quite a good volley there. Very nice indeed. Let's give them another volley. And then we'll give them a little charge. Our men inside here are, are concerned by the flanks being exposed. You're inside a building, bro. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Right then. While they are running away, the pikemen are still running. Good. So while we're charging them, let's get up here on top of this hill. So we can fire down at the old general. There we go. Come on, boys. Let's go. I know you find it a bit hard to maneuver around that way, but that's fine. Here we go. These guys are now getting fired at by all sides. Glorious. Let's do that. Make sure that they are firing. Got all our guys in the windows firing at them. Fantastic. And they've actually lost quite a few men compared to us, which is glorious. Hopefully, we can get a decent volley off against the general's bodyguard here. Let's just uh, actually just set up there. That'll be a little bit quicker and easier. And yeah, you guys can set up there in case they do do that and charge back the other way. But here we go with the charge, boys. Glorious. Shouldn't be too problematic. It is only militia, like we've said before. Nice and easy. Right, guys. Uh, they are coming back this way, so get firing. Get firing. There we go. Very, very difficult for you to hit these these guys right in front of you, apparently. <laughs> Our accuracy at this point in the game is awful. We really need some European light infantry or European style, sorry, European style line infantry, not light infantry, should I say. Glorious. Oh, here come the pikemen, bro. They have come back from routing. Oh, well, that's slightly annoying. <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> uh, but luckily, they didn't actually touch this unit, so he's just firing still on the general. Good sh good shots there, actually. Good. Glorious. They should want to rout very soon. Our guys are now routing against the militia. That's a little bit annoying, but we should still be okay. We've still got, like, most of our good units here, which is good. The general is now broken. Well, I think we're going to stick on the bayonets and get into the pikemen because we've seen how powerful those bayonet bayonets are. Now, let's speed this up. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, look at that. We are absolutely shredding the pikemen there. That is glorious. Glorious to see, my friends. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Let's go. We did lose a lot of men there. But remember, these are garrison troops, guys. So it really doesn't matter. Let's go. We can lose as many men as long as we win. That's all that matters here. As long as we win, we are good. There we go. They have... Uh, all our men have routed over there, though. That's fine. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Uh, we still got our Israelis, of course. And here they go. They're going in for the kill in here. So let's stick on the bayonets. And we should be we should be good against these boys, honestly. Here comes the general, though. The general's come back. The pikemen are still here. Still going. And they've lost so many men. We should be able to beat back these guys, no problem, with our uh, plug bayonets. Stick those plug bayonets on, bro. Stick them on. Stick them on. And kill them. There we go. Fantastic. Right. We're going to have to charge the general's bodyguard now. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't want to engage. Come on, general. Go. There we go. Caught them. That should be good. Fantastic. There go those troops. Absolutely broken. And then these guys are just slowly getting whittled away by our glorious men inside the building. Well, the final charge on the artillery shouldn't be too bad. They didn't get, even get any shots off on us, so uh, should be nice and easy. Come on, boys. Please don't route now. I know you're very tired, but uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Glorious victory, my friends. Very nice indeed. Well, there we go. We lost about the same, but we just deployed so many more troops. That is one of our greatest benefits as Venice, of course. Uh, not Venice, as the Ottomans, of course. Very nice. Glorious. Well, I forgot that we actually did train troops here, so that is good. They were actually not garrison troops, so let's get in there. We have been raided in two of our goddamn uh, ports now, which is a little bit annoying, honestly. Let's auto-resolve that. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, what is going to be in here? Like, I don't know whether we can win this, but it's probably worth taking out these guys. Two garrison line infantry as well. Um, demand their surrender, and let's uh, keep on sieging them down. Four turns until they actually surrender. Let's back up these guys with some bashy bazooks then as well, um, just to make sure that we don't completely lose. Um, let's keep on going with the cannons, and now we do actually have decent cannons in here. I can't wait until we get some actual roads so we can walk through this area. Apparently, it takes six months to go from uh, Istanbul to Sofia. Yeah. <laughs> but ultimately, guys, turns don't really matter. That date doesn't really matter. It would be the same movement points if we're on four turns per year. In fact, it might even be less. So, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, so we upgraded Belgrade there, didn't we? Um, I do want to uh, take that back because, as you can see, we do not have any money now because our, all our trade regions are gone. Right. Well, we are going to go siege down Yerevan here. We're going to continue the siege. We're going to bring in the cannons. Glorious. Now we have three sets of cannons for this army, which is absolutely fantastic. We're going to have four very soon. We're also still training Israelis in uh, Baghdad. I think we could go for some Kemat Janissaries, Janissari, actually. What do we have in here? Yeah, we've got a lot of these irregular desert infantry. Well, that's four units. And how many units do we need to fill the army? Well, four is going to be there. That's actually a full army, but I would like to replace these two. So we could do with two more units. In fact, those two units should likely be cavalry. We don't have much cavalry in this army, so we're going to have to go for the camel nomads. They're not great, but they are better than nothing. <laughs> That's basically... Uh, <laughs> Basically, the uh, uh, the thing there. They're not good, but they're better than nothing, guys. <laughs> that is pretty much all our armies right now, honestly. Honestly, the sound, like, differential is really pissing me off. I'm having to change sound between battles and, uh, and uh, everything else uh, and the campaign map. And now it's still so quiet. So <laughs> I honestly don't know what the issue is, but... So weird how it's optimized so that the battle sounds are so much louder than anything else. Really, really strange. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Nothing we can do about it, is there? So that's good. Right, what do we want else in this army? So we're getting cannons. So we're going to have three units of cannons in the army. Could do with one more, but we are actually recruiting that one more. So that's four more units in here. So, yeah, that'll be up to there. So we need three more units and, f well, five, really, to replace them. I'm considering we need cavalry. We, we really need cavalry. Why can we not recruit any cavalry here? Well, there we go. We get some Mamluks, which are a very good unit. Next level. And we also get Janissary Grenadiers, which will be amazing. So, yeah, that's quite good. We're going to get uh, Canister Shot next turn, too, which will be glorious. Uh, in terms of anything else we want to build, I think we're good for now. Could maybe build another barracks in Athens, and that'll allow us to recruit troops a lot quicker across here. And the cannon foundry. Glorious. Well, we need to uh, get rid of the Ottomans and get rid of these guys in our ports. That is not good, because this port as well has been raided. Ah, so, uh, yeah, really not good. Really not good for us, but... Anyway, that's fine, guys. Let's... Oh, no. We're not going to end the turn. We're going to go for this battle for uh, Armenia. So, yeah. What do they have? Not much. So, let's see. Can this glorious new army get there? Let's go. Glorious, boys. Glorious. Well, I don't know why there's no bands playing with these guys. I don't know whether it's because they're not line infantry, but... There's no Ottoman bands playing, which is very sad because I love the music in this game and this mod. Um, but here they come, the cavalry. So let's uh, let's get that there. Let's also get our camel warriors out to face them because I don't want to lose my artillery so early uh, right now. That would be awful. 
Well, here they go. They're going for a little bit of a charge. So uh, let's keep on uh, firing at them. Anyone else we can fire at that's a good target? Probably these pikemen, honestly. Um, so let's go for that. Right, camels. Let's go after the general's bodyguard. Or we just uh, sort of get around here. That'll be fine. And here we go with our men. Glorious. You guys get running. This regiment of horse again is going to uh, charge in the back of us. So let's, uh, let's charge them here. That should be good. You guys get there to fire at them. And then we'll use these men around this way to uh, start flanking. Looks like everyone is routing, which uh, is pretty good for us. <laughs> poor, uh, poor George. Remember, we just need to route them and that's it. That's fine. These guys, like, as a unit, are not too bad. Like, the reload skill's awful, but 25 accuracy is the same as the Israelis. Just terrible, terrible reload skill. Um, and, of course, a little bit worse in melee. Uh, but there goes that regiment of horse. So we should be able to shoot these guys. But there's just so many of them. It really doesn't matter too much. Hopefully, though, I can't wait to actually get some proper uh, proper line infantry at some point. There we go. Turn the sound down again. Oh, my God. It's so annoying. Please stop being so goddamn annoying, will you? Right, let's, uh, let's get down here and start attacking these boys. Let's get our desert boyos forward too. And uh, see what we can do. Get running, boys. Get running. No point marching along. These guys are still marching. Run. <laughs> Come on. Run. God damn it. <laughs> Let's uh, fire at that militia. Who else do we have to fire at? I mean, we've got this unit here, which is actually a uh, line infantry, which, fair enough. Good for them. Now we should start be able to fire at this firelock armed infantry. Uh, firelock armed citizenry, which will not be a problem at all. Glorious. And let's uh, get our cavalry into the fight somewhere around here. They have pikemen. You guys just slowly march up then. Um, oh, these guys here. Get there, quick. Start firing at them. Right, let's uh, let's charge them. And then I'm going to get my artillery to start firing at something slightly different. Not our own men, <laughs> ideally. You guys fire at them. You guys fire at the general's bodyguard. And you guys fire at them. Should be fine. Glorious. Oh, these guys routed already. God damn it, bro. <laughs> they, they didn't even do anything. They, got, they lost one man and they routed. That's it's not a good form, that, my friends. That's not a good form. What are these guys doing? Get there to fire. Come on. Come on, guys. This is a mess, bro. This is a mess. <laughs> right, get in there. Start firing at the pikemen. Glorious. Glorious, glorious. I'm glad we've got 9-pounder artillery now as well. Um, a lot better than uh, than just the demi cannons and all that sort of thing. So there we go. Pikemen are routing already. They're going to take quite a few shots here. Let's speed this up now. We don't really need to, uh, to go so slow. We are just absolutely shredding them just through sheer numbers here, guys. Look at that. Absolutely shredding them just by the amount, like, the amount of troops that we have. <laughs> That's all it is. It's nothing else. Just the amount of troops. <laughs> Just shredding these guys. Uh, I guess the strength in numbers isn't there in this game. More bullets. Sorry, not well. They're not bullets, are they? More, uh, more musket balls means more kills, <laughs> basically. So uh, let's uh, spin our guys around. Let's see if we can uh, take on this general. He took just took a cannon shot. Glorious. Let's uh, let's see if we can uh, engage him. I think with this artillery, let's just fire on them so we're not uh, not losing any more men for no reason. We lost a few men. We lost a few men in this battle, of course, but not too many. So we should be good. All we need to do now is just kill this general. Let's get our camels into the action here, too. Uh, if they will actually uh, attack without running. But uh, a glorious victory, my friends. Well, there we go. We have reclaimed the glorious Azerbaijan, I think, was it? Azerbaijan? Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at our men. Got some good kills in here. The Semenes got 142 anyone do any really good like the desert warriors did a really good job like look at them they only lost 31 for the amount of kills they got as well what a glorious little unit they are i thought they'd be terrible but they're not actually that bad um which is pretty good honestly can we reach there no we can't problem is hmm what do they have in there just a militia so Again, it shouldn't be an issue. Let's just carry on. They didn't actually come and engage us. That's fine. And the people are fine here. They're not too 
unhappy. Glorious. Well, that is fantastic. We've retaken Armenia. We haven't actually conquered anywhere yet. <laughs> but hopefully um, soon, guys. Hopefully soon. <laughs> And the enemies have come to attack us at Morea. So uh, let's uh, defend this. It's going to be quite difficult because they do actually have line infantry who have 40 accuracy. I'm thinking, though, we just overwhelm them with melee. We have slightly less men, but we have the plug bayonets. I do not know whether they will have plug bayonets. So let's see, guys. Well, I think we've got an even better plan, guys. And that's... Hiding behind the walls. <laughs> I don't know why. They won't go behind here, which is a little bit annoying. But we should hardly lose any men here. Main thing, though, is just to, uh, you know, kill these men. We're going to get the uh, Bashi Bazooks into that line infantry. And then we are going to charge them eventually. Um, but, yeah, the Firelocked Armed Citizenry shouldn't be hard to beat. So we're probably going to just chill for a little bit behind the walls and keep firing. And uh, then we're going to go. We're just going to go, guys. We're just going to see if this works. Um, I may... Yeah, you guys, come on. Let's go. Let's go charge them. Our, yeah, I don't think they have plug bayonets. So let's have a look. Yeah, no plug bayonets for them. So this should be plenty fine. These guys, on the other hand, what shall we do with them? I'm thinking if we come, like, here... Oh, no, they're coming into range now. So we will actually be able to fire at them. Can, they, can you not fire, guys? Surely you can fire. Surely you can fire. So both units here are wavering. So keep on going, boys. Keep on going. Let's hope that we uh, we don't die here or our general dies. That would be bad. Come on, guys. It says you're firing, but you're just not. So it's a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Let's see if we can break these guys. Come on, boys. I want you through the middle here. Come on, into the into the fight. They go There they go. There they go. Let's charge into this garrison unit then. We still have more men than this unit here, which is glorious. Glorious. For some reason as well, the uh, I don't think the um, the battle sound effects are working, are they? That's the first time I've noticed it. Oh, now we can hear it. Okay, that's a lot better. That was so weird. Looks like our general is dead. No, that's the enemy general. Right, let's uh, get the plug bayonets on these boys too. And let's get them into the firelock armed citizenry. I think we're going to break these guys quite quickly, which will be nice. There we go. I, I honestly don't know what's going on with the sound, guys. It's been so strange. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit weird. Let's speed this up now. I think it should not be an issue. They might get a volley off against us, which will be a little bit bad for us. But looks like we're actually going to get a decent charge into them. And we should shred them. Look at that. Very nice. Keep on going, guys. We've got overwhelming numbers here. Their general is now dead, too. So it should be nice and easy. And then we can just auto-resolve it next time. Glorious, men. Come on, men. Let's go. I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Well, a glorious victory once again. There we go, guys. Very nice indeed. I do hate it when the AI just does stupid stuff like just sending little detachments of an army around to, <laughs> to just raid <laughs> everywhere. It's really, really annoying. <laughs> but hopefully now... We've got these guys, so let's get one of these bashy bazooks into there. That should then allow us to repair that. And then we can start trading again and start making money again. Because, yeah, don't have much money at the minute, do we? Let's auto-resolve that. Should be a nice, easy victory. And there we go, into Morea. We might have to just exempt them from tax just for now. But that should help with our money situation. Income ne next turn, minus 724. That's why we need to get these trading regions back up and running so that we can actually make money again right let's get you in there how long is it going to take you apparently with the uh, the roads that have all been built now it doesn't even it doesn't even speed them up that much so oh god <laughs> did not realize it was this slow jesus christ right we've got canister shot now which is awesome so we're going to swap around our technology a little bit so you guys, I don't want you researching carbines. I want you researching ring bayonets so you can see it's a little bit quicker. We'll go with Kayseri researching square formation. Asa, you can continue researching exploding uh, shells because that's going to allow us to get 24 pound howitzers, guys, which is pretty darn insane. We can also get 24 pound artillery 
And then what do we get later? Bombardment mortars are not too good, but we can get the 64 pound heavy artillery as the Ottomans, which is just absolutely redonkulous as a unit. <laughs> there we go. All the roads. Very nice indeed. We've got a new royal hair, Nafise. Very good. Uh, we got some more troops in Mesopotamia. So we're going to go and join up with this army up in the north. You guys are going to take Georgia, hopefully. Hmm. That's quite a big army. I think we can defend against that, though. Let's demand their surrender. They're not going to accept because it is their last settlement. But I think we can do a defensive battle against them, which will be very good. But anyway, guys, I think we are at the end of the video there. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.